Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for another weekly wrap up. My name is Jeremy Cronemeyer. I'm operations manager here with Wickham Financial Group, and I have Graham Wickham here, president and CEO of Wickham Financial and Insurance Services. Graham, what happened to the markets last week? Hey, thanks, Jeremy. Uh, thanks for everyone jumping on the call again this week. Uh, yeah, I mean, post-election, what a huge rally, but that kind of faded a bit uh, when we saw interest rates rising after Federal Chairman Powell came out with some comments been a little less dovish on rates. So we saw the S&P uh, 500 fall about 2%, the NASDAQ, that tech-focused index, dropping about 3 and the Russell 2000 small cap declining about 4%. Now, at the same time, we did see the U.S. dollar strengthen, but that did hurt some international stocks, especially emerging markets. They were off about 4.5%. From a commodity standpoint, we did see crude oil and gold both uh, struggled a little bit. But from a cryptocurrency, Bitcoin surged about 19%. So overall, we saw eight of the 11 S&P sectors losing ground. That was really led by healthcare off about 5.5%. Then the follow-up with technology, basic materials, they fell roughly around three. So we are looking at some economic data. We did see the U.S. Treasury yields increasing after Powell indicated really no rush to lower rates. If we're still seeing a strong economy and some pers persistent inflation. But the October CPI numbers did rise. That was up about two tenths, very modest, uh, rose a little bit month over month. But overall, year over year was pretty much in line at about 2.6 percent. So nothing to get overly concerned about in a with a strong economy, but still might be a little sticky. We're looking at retail sales that grew about 0.4 percent month over month with the unemployment claims hitting their lowest level since uh, since May. Now, if we go overseas and look at the uh, global markets, we saw China. Their retail sales came in pretty solid. Some real estate investments, we did see that drop a little bit. Industrial production did grow about 5.3 percent year over year, but it did miss some forecast. Over in Japan, the yen the yen fell. Roughly about 10% uh, from its September highs as policymakers over there were pretty divided on the next steps to take with their interest rate policy. UK, their economy contracted in uh, September. It grew marginally in the third quarter despite some wage increases. Inflation risk still persistent over there. So that may pr uh, prevent them from being more aggressive or even cutting rates uh, in December. Uh, maybe a little bit like us. So if we look at this week, what are we looking at? So we're looking at the Fed, Fed, uh, Fed Chairman Powell. Uh, despite last week's market retreat, he had some pretty positive comments about the labor market and some and this strong economy. We'll be looking at some uh, some things with the economic calendar, mostly some second tier data like global flash PMI surveys, all the way to manufacturing and some service numbers that will be rolling out towards the end of the week on Friday. U.S. data, we'll be looking at the housing update like starts, permits, existing home sales, some Philly Fed manufacturing index, and then we'll be wrapping some things up with a revised consumer sentiment figures. Corporate earnings, for the most part, we're, we're getting to the end here, really at the end, but we've got a huge one coming out. we got NVIDIA. Uh, they'll be coming out on Wednesday, and I, set the, I think that will set the tone for the market. Not necessarily the market's going to take its cues and trade off of that, but I think it'll set the tone on how is NVIDIA looking, not just in the past, but what is their projection in the future? That might be more important uh, for this market. International data, we'll be looking at inflation updates from Canada, UK, Japan, and some global events. We'll see a G20 meeting over in Brazil, and then China will get some uh, central bank um, and kind of what they're looking to do with their loan a prime rate. Is it going to be unchanged? We'll see. Now, we might not have a report the first of next week, but we are going to be looking because that's going to be Thanksgiving week. We are going to see some key U.S. Uh, release in terms of some economic numbers. We'd be looking at consumer confidence, some PCE price. We'll be looking at Q3 GDP, FOMO, uh, FOMC minutes, some Eurozone inflation. So we got some real numbers that are coming out the week of Thanksgiving, but I know that can be a bit of a, uh, a week that can be uh, uh, a little quick for many of us as we're getting prepared for the holiday. Jeremy? Gotcha. Well, Graham, you mentioned early in the call about um, getting that good rally right there after the election um, 
uh, information or whatever, but going, you know, since, but it's kind of pulled back quite a bit since then. Do you see that kind of going forward through the end of the year? Yeah, I don't know if we are going to continue to see a pullback. I can never say never, right? The market's going to do what it wants to do. I think of late, maybe I'll run up a little bit too quick, too fast. Maybe yields popped up a little bit. That's putting pressure. I can put some pressure on stocks. Uh, geopolitical events. I mean, that's always headline risk. So I think with a market that has done so well and the anticipation of things looking so good, I think we're we're apt to get some volatility here. But I still think the runway looks pretty good. I don't know exactly where it's going to end up. I don't have that crystal ball yet. Still working on it. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the runway looks pretty good. It's a really good time of the year, November all the way to the first of the year. And the economic numbers look good as well. Gotcha. We always appreciate the information and expertise, yeah. Graham. And thank you to our listeners. And check out our website, website, check out our social media pages for these weekly wrap-ups on there. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.